welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Ren and I make videos a couple of times a week about books and pop culture and today's video is a half vlog half haul and I'm starting it here because I didn't actually film an intro to the event I just started filming stuff like the rest of the day so I filmed like the event and stuff but I didn't film myself being like here's where I am so this is that intro I went to the Alice Oseman uh, Conway Hall event in London to celebrate 10 years of Solitaire. It was absolutely amazing. It was in conversation with Jenny Walser who plays Tori in the Hearts of a TV show. So that was so exciting and so fitting and it was genuinely such a good day. Um, so I'm gonna play the footage from that day now in a little vlog form and then I'm gonna show you all the books that I got because they're not out yet so it's very exciting. Roll the footage and then you will come back to me. I don't know how much we can I don't know how much we can say. say. Um, I think what I will say is <laughs> let me do the spoiling as well. Um, <laughs> what I I will probably talk about this more when we get closer to the release of season three, but I've decided to uh, expand uh, the that aspect of Tori's character and in doing so I think I'm saving a lot of it for a potential season four because I think potential. I think the way it's done in Volume Pump Part Stopper is it's just the one scene, it's very quick, there's not a lot there story wise, and I think. Although I do love it in Heartstopper, I think there's a way to do it in the show where it's a more stretched out, more complex, more interesting story. Um, and so that storyline has changed a little bit from what it is in the comic. Um, and fingers crossed we get to continue that story in season four. Um, yeah, because I remember, I hope this isn't a spoiler, but I think originally, there was the plan to maybe keep to the way that the comics are. Um, and then I noticed the scripts had changed a bit. Mm -hmm. And I remember you saying what you just yeah, said yeah. Um, to me, um, which obviously I'm very excited at the possibility of doing doing that version of things if, we, if we're lucky enough to get to. Um, but definitely because I've read the comics and knew that that might be on the cards further down the line, throughout this season I had it in the back of my mind not that she's already arrived at that realisation but that the realisation might be starting to sort of trickle in um, and definitely within that relationship that forms between me between Tori and Michael <laughs> separate from the character journey <laughs> um, is yeah I, I definitely tried to make that sort of the nature of that yeah. Even if it's in my comes head. Through. I think oh, I'm really good. excited. Like I really hope we get season four because we cool. set up so much and to see that explored in, in a more complex way would be really exciting. I agree. <laughs> 
hello including the ticket that i bought i got a copy of hardback solitaire 10th anniversary edition with these beautiful sprayed edges and this beautiful new cover this is what the new cover looks like and this has been the american cover for a while but in the uk on the 29th of feb this will be in paperback um you can buy the hardback one now but the we in paperback and with the new cover the back is really cool and you know there's michael holden there too and then this came pre-signed by alice who has a phenomenal signature so i got this print of tori and then on the back it says celebrating the 10th anniversary of solitaire by alice oseman there's a time and a place for being normal for most people normal is their default setting but for some like you and me normal is something you have to bring out like putting on a suit for a posh dinner this is going to go on my wall i am in the process of moving house and i'm going to have a corkboard wall to put prints and polaroids and other photos and postcards and everything up so that is definitely going to go on there and also going to go on that wall are these postcards um which are beautiful i am obsessed with these postcards i didn't realize they were in the books but they were in the books and i lost my little mind so there's nick and charlie then there's loveless which is and then i was born for this and radio silence which i think is my favorite cover of the new covers looked beautiful and on the back it literally like they have these little quotes so like this one says um listen to your own voice then i was born for this says everyone needs something to believe in loveless says how long before her story begins and nick and charlie says this is literally a love story which I love. And they also have these bookmarks that were also in the books, um, which are so exciting. I love these. Um, and then on the back, they have all of the new covers. And um, this winter comes out in September. So all of these ones come out at the end of February on the 26th, I believe. Um, it's either the 26th or the 29th. I want to say 26th is in my head, I think. Winter comes out later on in the year. Um, I actually do have it. I have a hardback of it because... Um, I've been ordering the American covers because I was ordering them before it was announced that they were going to be the new UK paperbacks. Uh, it's okay, so I have hardbacks and paperbacks. So, did some damage. Some books. So I got the paperback of Solitaire. This is mainly because I don't really want to read the anniversary edition. Like, it's very pretty. Um, and I do want to do a Solitaire reread. So, and I mean, I do have Solitaire in the other US, UK paperbacks, but it's fine. It's fine. I have a collection. I collect books. It's my job. I collect them. Um, so I got yeah, the UK paperback. And again, it blends all the way around onto the back, which I absolutely love. And then I got Nick and Charlie. Um, obviously, these are also signed as well. They've all got the signed sticker. Then we've got Nick and Charlie, which again, blends around. And I love the back of Nick and Charlie. It's, the, oh, it's my favourite one. Look at, look at it. It's so cute. And I love that Charlie is reading I Was Born For This. I love that. And then Radio Silence is definitely my favourite cover. Like, look, look at it. It's just, this is just everything. Like, this screams me. This is my aesthetic, my vibe. Um, I absolutely love this uh, so much. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we've got I Was Born For This, where, again, if you spin it round, it has the rest of the arc on the back, and I just absolutely, I love it. I think I'm just going to end up doing an Alice Edmund reread. I think I'm just going to be rereading everything this month. I think that's what's going to happen. And finally, we have Loveless, which again goes around. Um, and I really love them. As soon as I saw the books there, I was like, yeah, I need them. I need to buy these. I think I am going to do a reread because um, it's been a couple of years since I read the, these books. So I think I'm going to do a reread. I'm definitely going to do a solitary reread. Me and my friend have a book club for 2024. Um, and Solitaire is our book for February because we went to the Solitaire event. So I'm definitely rereading Solitaire. So I'm just going to end up rereading the other ones, let's be real. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Which is your favourite Alice Osman book and which is your favourite out of the new covers as well? Like I said, mine is definitely Radio Silence. I just love everything about it. And did you go to the event? Um, if you did, I hope you had a really good time. It's just so fun and lovely and so nice to hear Jenny and Alice talking about... Tori and Solitaire and Heartstopper and also it was really nice to see that Jenny is just like a huge fan and just like completely stands Tori and like you can tell that 
like she's put so much into playing Tori as well and um, which was just so lovely so yeah I had the best time it was so 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 nice if you guys are new here then I make videos a couple of times a week about books and pop culture so if you want to stick around and join this feel free to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell I also have a bookish podcast called the open book podcast which will be in the description that you can go and follow every like and follow really helps me out so thank you um and as usual all the links to all my other social medias will be in the description as well thank you guys for watching i hope you're doing really 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 well and i will see you next time goodbye